Hello, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can start an Etsy print on demand shop in a matter of minutes. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Etsy shop. And then I'm also going to show you how to sign up for Printify, the printing company. And then I'm gonna show you how to sync the two together so that you can get selling print on demand products in your Etsy shop today. First, if you're still confused about what print on demand is, Basically, I make a design on my iPad or my laptop or even my phone. I place that design on a product within Printify. I list that to Etsy. And then when a customer purchases my product, it's synced up to Printify where they print my design onto the product and they ship it out to my customer for me. So I have no inventory, not really any startup costs aside from the $15 um, shop fee that you'll see in this video and aside from the 20 cent listing fees but aside from that you don't have to pay for a single product until a customer purchases it from your Etsy shop so this model has freed up so much of my time and just give me so much freedom within my life. I was able to quit my teaching position and actually move to another country because I wasn't stuck with any inventory. I wasn't stuck making my products on hours on end. I am pretty much free with my time aside from the designing and listing process, but then it becomes pretty passive once those listings start selling. So enough talking, let's jump into it and get your shop set up today. Etsy is constantly making changes to to its platform. This is the most up-to-date recent tutorial you will find on how to start an Etsy shop in 2024. All you have to do is follow click by click for the next 10 minutes and then you will have your own Etsy shop open. Okay, so you're gonna obviously go to Etsy.com and then you're gonna come over here to sign in. And then you're going to come up here to register and you're going to simply put in the email that you just made, your first name, and then a password. And then I'm going to click register. And that fast, I have an Etsy account. However, this is not an Etsy seller account. So now I'm going to tell you how to turn it into an Etsy seller account. You're going to come up here to the little circle. It says your account and you're going to come down here to sell on Etsy. We're going to click get started. Let's do this. You can answer these or you can skip. I'm just going to click skip this question. Same thing here. Skip this question. Now we're going to click start your shop. You're going to fill this out according to your own preferences. So your language, which country you're in and shop currency. Okay, then you're going to come to save and continue and then you're going to enter your shop name. Don't stress it. You don't have to spend too much time on this part. Um, you can always change it later if you want to. This is the best I can do right now. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So mystical maker shop. We're going to save and continue. Then we're going to fill out the category. So I'm going to type in a apparel. A -P -P. So mainly t-shirts, um, physical items, another company or person, because I'm doing print on demand. Um, what is it? It's a finished product. When did you make it? It's made to order. And then we're going to add the production partner. So I use Printify and about production partner. So it's um, prints packages and ships all items and let me look up where the location is Delaware United States why are you working with this partner I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself what is your role in the design process you're going to choose which one fits best for you what is the role in the production process? They do everything for me. And then you're going to click save. And now they are added to my Etsy shop. However, it is not synced up to Printify yet. Um, later in this course, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're going to click done, and then save and continue. 
Now we just need to do a basic listing right now to sign to get signed up for our shop. So I'm not going to go de into detail into the listing process just yet. I'm just going to do enough right now to where we can get our shops signed up and working. This listing can um, eventually be deleted or you can edit it however you want. Um, so I'm just going to quickly type in, um, let's say like adult graphic t-shirt. Again, I would never just, I would never title something just that, but this is just to get started right now. And then you can add up to 10 photos and one video. For time purposes, I'm just going to put up one photo for right now. It can be anything just to get started with this listing. So I'm putting up a mock-up right now that doesn't even have a design on it yet. All right, so there it is. And then um, description again, I will go further into detail that in this later in the course, but for right now, I'm just, you know, filling it, filling it out. So adult graphic t-shirt um, and then price, let's just say like, a random price because we don't want anyone to buy this right now <laughs> um, we're just trying to get our nobody's gonna buy a blank t-shirt for $99 so we're just trying to get this listing up um, I'm not gonna add variations to it at this time I'm not gonna fill out any of this at this time um, I'm not gonna go into tags at this time so physical item yes category t-shirts yes shipping profile I'm going to create a shipping profile. Okay, so for shipping options, you're going to do, I'll enter fixed prices manually. You're going to put in your zip code. You're going to put your zip code. I just put Printify zip code for right now since I'm not currently in the States. Processing time is, let's say one to three days, but sometimes during the holidays, you'll wanna change this to three to five days. This is the time it takes them to make Printify to make the order. And then you're going to choose first class one to five days. I like to do free shipping, so I'm keeping that there. At the moment, I'm not doing international shipping, so I'm turning this off. And I'm going to save this shipping profile as free shipping. Save as profile. Then item weight and size. We're just going to do one pound, um, ten, eight. Now I'm not sure if that's exact, but it's never been an issue for me, so I'm just keeping that at the moment. Um, and then, and then for my renewal options, I like to choose manual to see if the item sold or not. And if it doesn't sell within that time period, I like to tweak my listings to give them a little bit um, of a new life to see if they will sell. So I like to manually renew rather than it charging me 20 cents automatically. So save and continue. So I'm actually going to change this policy here. Um, create policy. I actually don't um, accept returns and I don't accept exchanges. Save and apply. We'll get into that more later in this course. Um, and now I'm going to do save and continue. Okay, so then we're going to, we're not going to add more listings right now. We're going to do this later. Now I have to go to my email to confirm my Etsy account. All right, so here it is, confirm your Etsy account. And I just simply go here, confirm account. And it took me right back in to Etsy. So now I'm gonna go back up here to shop manager and click this. And it's going to take me right back to the next step. And that is how you will get paid. So you are going to fill out all of this and how it relates to you. And then you are going to connect your bank via Plaid. I have done this over and over again and have never had an issue. Just FYI, it has been safe, at least for me to do this um, quite a few times. They're going to have you verify your identity. Okay, so after a series of questions, um, the bank account should be connected via Plaid. They're going to put a one cent deposit into your account and then you're going to type in that three digit code you have to go into your bank account to find that code 
um, and then it will be connected via plaid and then you're going to choose here your deposit schedule how often would you like to get paid I like to do it every day so I'm going to click every day and then save and continue now you're going to um, type in all of your billing info and Etsy now has a new rule unfortunately that there is a one-time setup fee it's $15 um, every time you start a new shop so um, it will be taking that from this card or this account um, and then every time that you add a listing it is 20 cents so right now we're just paying the $15. The 20 cent listing fees will be due later as you add more listings into your shop. So go ahead and fill out your card and billing address information and then review setup fee and continue. And then I suggest adding um, this feature to keep your shop extra safe. So you can choose SMS, um, you can choose get codes via phone call or the authenticator app. So I'm gonna just choose SMS and continue and then you're going to enter in the phone number that you would like the code to be sent to and then you're going to have it send you a code and once you get that code sent to your phone number you're going to type that in here and then click continue and now you can choose to open your shop and that quickly the shop is open for business now like i said before it is not synced up to printify yet printify is on here as a production partner um, because this is a this will be a print on demand shop but it's not synced up to printify yet which means if somebody were to order one of my products it would not go to printify for them to start processing the order. Congratulations, you are now a seller on Etsy. So in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to sign up on Printify and get it synced up to your Etsy shop so that when those Etsy orders come in, it's synced right up to Printify and Printify will begin to process those orders, package them up and ship them right out to your customers for you. This is less than five minutes, step by step, click by click, let's jump right into it. Before you head over to Printify, you can check out the link in my description below for the free sign up link to Printify. And then if you would like to do Printify Premium, it's that link with code Jenny, all caps, that's going to give you one free month of Printify Premium. Printify Premium is $24.99 a month, but it drastically brings down the prices of their items, which gives you a higher profit margin, meaning more money in your pocket. So once you click that link, it's going to take you to printify.com and you're going to choose start for free and then you're going to enter your email i suggest using the same email that you used for your etsy shop so you're going to type that in and add a password and then choose sign up okay and then you're going to choose which one is best for you and then you're going to click next choose which one is best for you or you can just put i am just exploring and that simply you have a printify account now we are going to sync this up to our etsy shop you're going to go into your etsy shop and you're going to come down to settings and then you're going to come to partners you work with so i will link in the description below the previous video that took us up to this point in case you didn't watch it if you watched it and you did all of the steps correctly, then you should have Printify right here. It should already be within your um, production partners. If it is not, I will save you some time from watching that video. I will still link it below, like I said, but you can also just click add production partner. So you would click here and then you would type in Printify and then descriptive title. Um, so a print shop, you could keep a print shop. And then it's Wilmington, Delaware, um, United States of America. What do they do? They print, package, and ship all items. And then we are going to select a reason. So I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself. The role in the design process, I design everything myself, or you can choose whichever one applies to you. And then the role for is that they do everything for me. 
and then you would choose save partner i'm not going to do so since i already have them as a partner but once you clicked save partner it would come up right here as your production partner so let's go back into printify and we're going to click on my new store and manage my stores and right here we're going to click connect and then I'm going to go to Etsy right here. And then now it took me into my Etsy shop and it's asking if it's okay to grant access to Printify. So I'm gonna choose grant access and now it is connected. And I can go here and manage my store. I can type in my store name, Mystical Maker Shop, save. So now my Printify for Mystical Maker Shop is connected to my Mystical Maker Shop on Etsy. That way, when someone purchases from my Etsy shop, it will be synced up to Printify and it'll the orders will go right into this order tab here. They will appear right here. So that is simply how you connect your Printify to your Etsy shop. So simple. Congratulations on getting your Printify account synced up properly to your Etsy shop so that you can start having fun with your designs and listing on Etsy. And so that when those sales come into your Etsy shop, they're synced up properly and you can sit back and relax while Printify does all the work for you. I hope this free tutorial helped you. If you want to learn from me further, go ahead in the link in my description below for my free print on demand to freedom course. It's going to take you even further into this process. It's going to show you you how to get those first listings up so that you can start making money today. If this video helped you, give me a like, subscribe to my channel for more in-depth Etsy and print-on-demand content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.